This video is to give you a little bit of information about the social and historical context. So what that means and why you need to know about it. In English literature, you will be asked to answer questions um, on an inspector calls on Macbeth and also Jekyll and Hyde. Your response to those questions needs to be written in a series of P paragraphs. Now you all know what P paragraphs are because you've studied them for such a long time in English, but when you refer to the social and historical context, you do that within the analysis section. And examiners will expect you to understand what was going on at the time the text was written and link it in to your language analysis. So the social and historical context is basically what was happening at the time. What was going on at the time that J.B. Priestley wrote an inspector calls, when Macbeth wrote, uh, when Shakespeare, sorry, wrote Macbeth, and also when Robert Louis Stevenson wrote The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You will need to understand what relevance and impact the context had on the story or the play. So first of all, when we think about the context of an inspector calls, that was at the time that the Titanic sank, the suffragette movement was in full effect, gaining the right for women to vote. There were clear differences in the class system. So the working class and the upper classes, there were clear divisions between those systems in our society. World War One and World War Two happened and also there were stark differences in political beliefs between capitalism and socialism and essentially capitalism believes that if you earn money then you should keep it and socialism believed in a more even distribution of wealth. For Jekyll and Hyde you will need to understand about life in Victorian England, in terms of religion. A lot of people, a lot, the majority of society would have regularly attended church and there would have been very little other beliefs, which, con which was a contrast to Charles Darwin's theory, who didn't believe that we came from Adam and Eve. He believed that in the theory of evolution, that humanity evolved and that's where he thought we all came from. Jack the Ripper, his notoriety during Victorian times where he tortured and killed prostitutes. And there was also, you'll need to be able to link to the respectability of gentlemen. So Dr. Jekyll is reflective of that in that these gentlemen were highly educated, that they were very wealthy and they would have jobs of what was perceived then as high relevance in society. For Macbeth, you will need to understand about how supernatural and witchcraft were perceived at that time, the role of women at that time, when we think about how Lady Macbeth, her behaviour and her relationship with Macbeth, how that was unusual for the time, as women would never normally speak up religion at that time you would need to understand succession to the throne and King James. You basically need to link all of these things to the words that you were not analyse within a P paragraph.